Today we are learning to think and act like artists. We will be painting the moon side of our Metapec suns using cool colors. The cool colors are green, blue, and purple. Using the cool colors together can create a calm, harmonious mood in your artwork. Paint the moon first. Look at the colors on your color palette and choose one color for the moon. Try to paint around the eyes, the lips, the cheek, and the eyebrow. Don't paint them yet. Let's wait until the first color is dry. And if you see cardboard showing through, you might need a second coat of paint. Please don't use more than one color. Trust me, it will look too messy. Just pick one color and stick with it. Do that now and then stop. Next, paint everything else. We're trying to cover up all of the cardboard with paint, like in this example or this example. If you have the moon and sun, this is a little more complicated. Choose a different color for the face, the rays, and the spaces between the rays. Look at your color palette for cool colors that you haven't used yet and try to stay in the line so it won't look messy. Do that now and then stop. What else should we add to our Metapec suns? Real Metapec suns are decorated with beautiful designs like these examples. Look for a big empty space and when the paint is dry, we'll fill it up with a design. This is a great way to fill up the space. Make sure you use a different color so that your design will show up. And use a tiny paintbrush for your neatest work. There are lots of different options for designs. Here we have spots dots, stripes, and zigzags. Here is how the designs might look on the example that has the sun. Another thing you can do is use the small brush to outline the eyes, nose, lips, cheeks, and eyebrows. Let's add some designs, friends. I can't wait to see what designs you're going to choose for your Metapec sons. Do this now and then stop.